bring it back. Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Ostriff. So, if you remember last time we had a bit of a calamity with the trading, which I managed to mess up pretty staggeringly. Um, spent a lot of money sending messages back and forth to Bablika, where I didn't didn't do a very good job. But uh, thankfully we're now sorted and we now have a stock of cows and oxes. So with that in mind, we've got people working the cow shed nicely, which I'm pleased about. Um, we still haven't had anyone move into the village house for some reason, which I don't understand. Our women are now leading our horses to the pasture field. Horses? Does that look like a horse to me? No, it doesn't. Our cows to the and oxes to the pasture field. And we are going to be looking at building a farm. So, um, I want to give a reasonable amount of room this way to allow the farm to grow, because I want to obviously have uh, pasture for more cattle, and I want to be able to um, build up the fields for ploughing. So with that in mind, I'm thinking about building the farm somewhere like here. Let's get it kind of as straight as I want it. Mm, something like that. And then I can start to build farmers' fields over here. And then if the village wants to expand... This, blimey, this woodcut has cut a lot away of a lot of... Blimey. Cut a lot of trees and he's got a massive pile of logs. <laughs> we don't need two people working there anymore. Um, yes, yeah, so I want to try and take advantage over here. And if the villagers start to get uh, run out of room, we've also got more room in the village centre to still build on over here. And I would like to build a wooden bridge across to the island. So um, it's not just the farmhouse we're going to have to build. We're also going to have to look at building um, a carpenter's shop. I still don't get why this person thinks there's not enough food to move in. Maybe he wants a different variety of food. Um, yeah, we're also going to have to build a carpenter shop if we want to be able to have a plough. Uh, yeah, these cows should last, live quite a while, hopefully. Um, we are still rapidly losing money from an economic point of view, in part because um, I spent a huge amount of money on messengers and importing stuff. Is our, our income um, is up on last year? Although I'm not sure from which year to year the the sort of the the system runs. Um, I'm not sure we're also taking any money from sales of fish yet at the moment. Which are now I'd say we're not local sales. Sixty-two fifty. Maybe we have sold some fish to people. Um, has anyone brought any fish? Ish. Ish. No, I think people have still got enough potatoes and flour in stock for it to not yet be a problem. So no one's bothered to buy any fish yet. Hopefully, someone will do and we'll get sales tax from that. Which might boost our economic situation slightly. Since it's every time we look, the money is just petering away rapidly. Um, so once we've got this farm constructed, we shall assign a number of fields. And we'll start construction on the carpenter's shop. So let's have a look at the carpentry. Is this building here? Um, we could build this somewhere. This could be probably built near the centre, along with the blacksmith. It's a similar sort of sort of place. It's a pretty centre of town type building, I would have said. Maybe have it that way around. Yeah, we'll build that there. As I'm sure I've said in previous episodes, my plan is to sort of have sort of a bit of a town centre with, like, you know, things like the blacksmith, the thatchery, the woodcut of the town hall. And these buildings concentrated in the centre, sort of farms over this side, and then housing sort of in between the two. Although, not that anyone ever moves into my blooming housing. Um, I'm pleased I've got all the cows now. That's good. And I've got people working them in the cow shed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hopefully they might be able to... Um, breed with each other and then I could have more cows which would be amazing um, if I want to produce meat and hides for many of the animals I do need to slaughter some of them um, but since they were quite expensive um, I have no intention of killing them quite yet we should have two lots uh, no we've not got two lots one and a half lots of hay um, 
which still needs to have more grass put on it. It's been transported over to the to the hay dryer. And hopefully that hay will then be used, which it is, is then used in the cow shed. So that's quite important. Maybe we should invest in a secondary tiny spare field. Yeah, we have still two more women spare. So let's invest in a spare hay sack there. We have a labour on each. So we have two hay dryers. Um, always worthwhile having. Yeah, okay. So we've got two hay dryers on the way. Our farm is well under construction now. Um, they've delivered the clay, so they've got all the walls pretty much put up. The bar there's a little bit of an end wall. Uh, then it's just sort of wood nails and then putting a bit of a thatch roof on it. And the farm should be around about done. Man's busy hammering away. Um, our fisherman still should be on the go. Yes, he has stored a fish up to a fish there. But since no one is buying the fish... Well, I'm not quite sure what the, the problem is, it is why no one is buying the fish. So their potato supplies are starting to run out. So, sooner or later, people have got to buy the fish. And then, hopefully, before too long, we shall have wheat. I can build a windmill. And then we'll have flour. Get the roof on. Yeah. They nearly got the roof on. Key for labourers. Everyone's gone to bed. <laughs> so there's about one more hammer, hammering worth of roof to do. They've all given up. Now oh, they're all working on the bloody carpentry, that's why. No, finish the farm first. Come on, there's the man to do it. Hey! So, let's add some fields to this farm. That's the first priority. No, so it's going to have to go that way first. I don't want to make them massive. Uh, we'll also add one facing facing into town or facing out to town. We will have it facing that way. Because that way we might start to get some roads down these paths, which is what I'd like to see. Um, oh, yay! People have moved in. Finally. That was a bit of an effort, wasn't it? That must mean someone brought some fish, I reckon. Maybe. To bit someone somewhere must have brought a piece of fish. Perhaps not. Well, people are now in, which is great. I didn't think that was ever going to happen. So, we need to have some workers at the farm. So, we'll add a worker here. Oh, we've got women for the workers as well, which is excellent. Um, yeah, we've still got spare women, so we might as well have them working. We'll assign a manager, which presumably is going to be a man. And any second, we should finish this carpenter shop, which we have. Shall I sign a worker here? And with the farm, we are going to order a plough. So a plough has been ordered. Um, the carpenter has accepted the job. He knows the client, which is the farm. And we've got a man, Bushlav, is going to start construction on the plough, hopefully. And the plough will be delivered to the farm, which has then got two fields to work. So I'm pleased. Things are going quite well now. Our little settlement is really starting to expand into to quite the town. Considering we started off with a couple of tents in the centre, uh, things are starting to go quite well. Our road network has sort of established itself quite firmly now as well in the centre. Oh, and the man is collecting an oxen. For here. Yes, so he has the tower, or he's one of the animals, he's going to go and get another one. I like the fact he leads, leads it to the carpenter shop. The oxen must wonder what's going on. I think he's going to the slaughterhouse, maybe. Oh, nice that the uh, carpenter... See, this is the thing I like about this game. Nice the carpenter shop even has like a little stables area or a little pen area to keep the oxen in while the plough is then being made. And presumably the worker has now gone to get some wood or something like that. 
always just gone to bed. Uh, yeah, so he now needs wood, so he'll probably go to a cart in the middle of the village, which he will. And he's now on the way to the forestry to collect some wood to take to his shop. And then now the wood has been collected, there's not as much wood as there was. So that means the uh, the woodworker, old Jakar, can then start chopping up more wood. Excellent. So once they get the plough, these people can... Ah, oh, we can pick what they grow. Oh, we'll have wheat for now. Oh no, we don't want to have double. Um, I've also no longer used fallow fields as available because I've assigned the cow shed its own pasture field, so it doesn't need them. Um, both of these want to be active fields, I would have thought. But until the plough is ordered, I can't see how they'll work those fields. But we could have got more room to expand out the fields if they're able to man these wheat fields successfully. So he has got the wood, but he's just taking a rest. So once he's had his rest, he'll come back and get the plough under construction, hopefully. Um, what's going on here? Oh, it's starting to build up quite a good store of fish now. Has anyone brought any fish yet? No. We're going to have to soon, because they really are running out of food. Particularly this house. Yeah, I think we're going to have to have fish soon. Um, now we've filled a vacancy in the house, we can also look at constructing another house, actually. Might be a nice idea. Um, maybe should we have a, a sort of a, a riverfront house, maybe? Just behind the town hall. As is sort of in keeping with my current, I'm trying to achieve this random placement. Let's place a house there. Um, and that'll give another vacancy for which people can move into. We've got spare people for jobs, which is excellent. Something we've not had for a long time. This man's building his plough. It's starting to look like a plough at least. It's got the oxen on it. Oh, it's a ride-on plough. Wow. This is modern technology. So I deliver that to the farm. And now hopefully the farm manager can whip his woman in order and get them to start farming. Hopefully. We're waiting water. So they've now get they're now getting, they're collecting water from the well. Gotta keep an eye on as the population starts to increase and there's more buildings. I'm hoping that this well can replenish itself quick enough. If not I may have to build another one. I don't think they're particularly hard to build. I think they can just be placed anywhere. So let's just think about placing another well somewhere. Could you place another one in the centre here? Just a wooden nails. Yeah, they'll build that. Next is a spare source after the house has been finished. The problem is we're coming out of farming season now, August. I thought this is normally about harvest time, isn't it? How also are the hay stocks doing? Okay, they're both full currently, which is good. My hay barracks. It probably would have made sense to um, build the hay collection and storage in the farming sector, but I didn't think of that at the time. Sowing season is over. Ah, So what about changing these to say potato? So I think we're going to have to wait till next year before we can start to uh, actually do anything like that. Hemp, fallow. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. Here's what it is. Next year we can plough away. In the meantime, we may as well start to look at constructing a windmill to deal with the uh, um, wheat and stuff that we produce. This building cannot be rotated, okay. So it's just a forward facing. I wonder why it can't be rotated. Well, do we want the windmill? Where do we want the windmill? It probably wouldn't be a good idea to stick it in a dip because it's not going to get very good wind there. I think we'll stick the windmill just behind the farm then. We'll stick the windmill there. So after they've built the house and then they've built the well, they can then build the windmill. 
a lot of open vacancies going at the moment. How do these have brought any fish in? Yes. We've sold some fish. Finally. Um, so that's nice to see. Our rent is definitely a lot higher this year. Well, so is our salaries. But still, we at least we're starting to get a more of an income. The well has been built, which will now fill with water. So we definitely should have a more than strong enough supply of water. And the house has been built and filled immediately because we're that desirable. So we now have 11 men, 11 women, so we've got a good population. And that will give us more rent as well. Excellent. So it's now just the windmill to be built. And then next year, we are all ready. We've probably got a couple of months now before we start to hit the snows. So it probably gives us enough time to look at constructing my dream of the wooden bridge. See, I don't know how this is supposed to work. Ah, like that, I guess. Like so. Okay, that's probably a fairly large construction project, I would have thought. So I shall let them do the windmill first, which is uh, quite small, doesn't need many materials, so it should fly up pretty quickly. So there's a little bit more wood, and then they'll be able to construct that one. Oops, what am I missing? A little bit of thatch for the roof. And then the thing will be done. So I hope you see that it's, um, uh, my plan for sort of an organic looking town I think has sort of planned out quite well really. I don't think it looks too um, orchestrated. Probably some of these houses are a bit too neat. I should have done them a bit more sort of jiggedy and all over the place. But I like the fact it's built on the river. Once we get our bridge across here, I have no idea what I'm possibly going to build on this side. But something that may or may not be useful. Um, what could we put? We could have some tanneries over there or something like that. Maybe have a tannery and then a tailor's workshop and the slaughterhouse. So have our sort of textile section, sector over on this part of the river. Um, and then we could build another bridge over here. And then here. We could, so we're sort of bridges all over the river. People are starting to move wood into that area already. I'm also conscious of how many nails we've got left. Not very many. So we're going to assign a worker back to the smithy because um, <clears throat> otherwise we'll run out of nails. But now we know as well, following our trade in the last episode, that if we start to run out of iron, we can establish trade with Bablika by sending a manager, um, sending a messenger, and then we can trade for iron, which is important. There's the thatch. Yes, yeah, still got plenty of thatch, so they should bring that over. There we go, there's the thatch arrived. So when the worker is assigned, that should be fine. I don't know where all the workers are at the moment. Perhaps all resting. Because no one's been assigned yet to the smithy either. And no one is assigned to the windmill. And no one's assigned to the bridge. What was everyone doing? Uh, I suppose there's no point having you as a manager on the farm since nothing is going to be planted. Okay, we've now got a worker on the blacksmith who's going to continue starting to produce nails again. Um, still no worker assigned there. Although workers are being assigned to the bridge. You know, do the flipping windmill first since you've started it. Oh well. It seems uh, workers are more interested in the bridge than they are in the windmill. Which isn't quite what I had in mind. Oh there we go. It's finished. So this is when um, I guess the costs start to come in. Um, you know, We're also going to have the cost of employing people to work the windmill, boss of uh, all my women employed in the farm, it will soon start to add up. But hopefully we'll start to get increased rents from the different villages we're now starting to get in here. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, I think our village is really starting to sort of come on, it's more of a small town now. Um, we've sort of learned a bit about the farm mechanics and come next season we should certainly be starting to grow things and producing wheat and flour which we can sell again on the market stalls. And we'll start to look at setting up our tanneries and our textile and our slaughterhouse on this side of the river. So we're based on both sides because it might look cool. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please like, comment, uh, subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel out. Thanks guys and I shall see you on the next one.